B flat major scale is the bane of many people, but is actually not that difficult. If you played the B scale, the B major scale, you'll notice that in that scale, you have two keys that are naturals. There's only two, B and E. It's kind of a fun fact to notice that on the B flat scale, those two notes are the only flat keys. So you think B flat, that's a hard key signature. It's hard to play in. There's only two flats, B and E. B flat, E flat. They spell the word B. They are the scale of B flat. Maybe that'll help you. Okay, now the finger patterns, I'm gonna start with the left hand actually on this scale. It's groups of three fingers followed by groups of four and they always alternate. So if you just finished up a group of three, you're gonna assume the next group is a four set. So let's see what that looks like at the keyboard. So we're gonna start the B flat on our third finger. That gives us B flat, C, and D. That's your first set of three. Okay, now I'm gonna alternate that with the four group. So starting with the fourth finger crossing to E flat, and then all natural keys through the note A. I'll finish a scale with that three coming back. So that would be the B flat one octave. If you continue to two octaves, I'll show you that. So we'd have three notes through the D, cross a four to E flat. That gets you four fingers, which means we must alternate with the three on the next B flat. Octave two, cross a four to E flat, all the way up, and then you'll cross your three here. So make sure you end and begin the scale with the same third finger. Okay, now the right hand, you're gonna come in slightly different here. We're gonna have B flat with the fourth finger. Yes, that's correct. So the left hand starts on three, the right hand starts on four. A little trick you could play with yourself, which hand has the lowest pitch? It's the left hand. So the left hand has the lowest number of three. That helps, you can stick with that, whichever works for you. Okay, right hand four, and then we're gonna just kind of assume they, uh, that meant a group of four. So we're only playing the fourth finger, but if we start with a four, then the next finger grouping would be a three. So C, D, E flat is a group of three notes. We're gonna turn the hand and build up another four fingers ending on the fourth with the B flat. Second octave, turn, C, here's three, D, E flat is your third finger, group of three. Turn again, F, G, and ending with your fourth finger. So you see there's really no way you can have a fourth finger, excuse me, have a third finger on B flat. So that's why we must begin with the four. It's got to match on both ends. Okay, so let's put it hands together. I'm gonna to walk through the hands together part slowly and call out the hand changes as best as I can. Three left, four right. Get ready to change immediately, right hand. Here we go. B flat, turn the right hand, C, D. Left hand, you cross a four. Left hand, there you go. Right hand, you turn, G, A, Pause here, so you should have a three on the left and a four on the right, just like you started. Second octave, right hand turns immediately. D, left hand cross a four, turn the right, F, G, keep walking up, keep walking up, match the left hand so it's a three and the right hand is a four. Okay, coming down, left hand turn immediately, thumb on A, G, F, and then we're gonna have a four in the left and a three in the right. Turn the left hand, turn the right, fourth finger always on B flat. Left hand, you turn, there you go. Keep walking down, right hand, you turn here, so you should have a three. Left hand, you turn, there we go. And here we should have a three and a four. So one of the things I often tell students is notice that on this scale, if I go super slow motion, that the hands never match. The finger numbers are always one off. So like here, for example, a one in the left hand, but a two in the right. A four in the left hand, but a three in the right. So oftentimes students say, well, I think this is wrong because none of the fingers match. On the B flat scale, that actually is correct. You don't match. Okay, so that is the B flat major scale, two octaves.